Good afternoon, folks. It's a great time to dive into the recent paper on Dansgaard Oeschger events and Heinrich events to review one of the most important facts about the Sun and Earth cycles. This paper from yesterday correctly confirms that the Dansgaard Oeschger, or DO, events sync up with the Heinrich event cycle, but it tries to explain that sync using internal geodynamics, and that part is wrong. Let's start with the first part, the one they got correct. About every 1,500 years, we get a DO event. It is a rapid warming at the polar region. This melts enough ice to chill the oceans, and we go back to normal. It can be up to 8 degrees of warming in a couple decades, which should put modern temperature changes into perspective. And then, every 6,000 years, it seems to warm too much, melting too much ice, and we actually swing back even colder than we were before. That's the Heinrich event. So we get three DO warming events, and then on the fourth cycle, a Heinrich event is triggered, and we cool down. Now to dive into the dynamics of this activity, the second part, we go to the best paper on superflare cycles of the sun. There are hundreds of papers on the smaller events where we get an X80 about every 150 to 200 years, an X150 to X200 about every 1500 years, and in this major paper, we find the X500 plus events on a 3000 year cycle, with the X1000 events on a 6,000 year cycle. Maximum on a sun-like star is about X4000. So to quickly recap what astrophysics tells us, every 1500 years we get a major super flare, and on the 3000 and 6000 year marks they're even bigger. Seems coincidental with that timing, doesn't it? Well, no. It's not a coincidence. It's cause and effect. That's why it's called the Solar Heinrich Bond Cycle. Now, bond events are just another name for DO events, just that they're slightly different in an interglacial cycle, but not in terms of what causes them, the sun, or their impact to the Earth. This works because the main entry point for solar blasts is the polar region. Earth's magnetic field funnels a great percentage of that energy directly to the poles, where it actually bypasses Earth's magnetic field and enters the polar cusp where it causes direct ionospheric excitement and enhanced global electric circuit vertical current activity, which has considerable heating effects globally, but nowhere more so than at that polar region. So ignoring the fact that scientists have called out the solar climate connection and even given it a name, we have the physical mechanism targeting the polar region, where DO and Heinrich events began, and we have their timing with solar cycles matching up perfectly. It is also not a coincidence that the 12,000-year events, a geomagnetic excursion, a pole shift, occurs with the solar micronova isotope layers. It's been 6,000 years since the last moderate event, 12,000 years since the last major event, and all the signs are here for them about to happen again in the next 20 years. Sun-Earth Connection, I hope this was informative. I will see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.